Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy, Nasty Moto. And uh, today we have the rebuild kits or the Wave Raider uh, 760, the SPN 44s. And these are straight from China, but uh, yeah, we're gonna see if they work. You know, it's worth a shot. Everybody always says, you know, go with uh, genuine McCuny um, parts, but it's really not in the budget right now. So uh, 25 bucks for two rebuild kits. Uh, I think that's where it's at. So what we got going on, we got both carbs here and I've just been letting them soak in some good old WD uh, because these screws strip super easily, even if they're not rusty. So uh, hopefully get those out pretty easily. Then we have all the uh, pump, you know, fuel pump parts. And so, yeah, I think we need to completely disassemble these carbs front and back and get all the old parts out. We may end up having to use some of the old parts just if the the new parts, you know, aren't as good of quality as we wanted. So yeah, we're gonna start tearing these things apart, clean them up, probably hit them with a wire brush and just, you know, start putting them back together. So let's hit it. So as you can see, we are five out of six for non-strip screws. This one was just super rusted and just instantly stripped out. So that kind of sucks, but we should be able to hit it with the easy out and get that one out. All these are pretty grimy and the, you know, as you can see, it's just, just overall super grimy. So we're going to hit that with the easy out real quick, see if we can't get that out. Uh, all right, let's do it. All right, just like that, easy out, put in the work and uh, got that strip screw out. So now I have all of these screws out and none of them are stripped, except for obviously this one, which is super nice, pretty rare with these carbs. So now I can take these off and start disassembling them farther. <laughs> So now that the carbs are completely clean, I am just gonna go ahead and slap them completely together. Um, there are tons of videos on how to rebuild them. So if you guys actually need videos on how to rebuild these SBNs, you can just Google it or you know YouTube it. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys when they're all together. All right, so now that these uh, carbs are completely clean, I'm just gonna go ahead and completely assemble them uh, with all the new parts and stuff. If you guys really need a how-to, you know, just YouTube it. There's tons of videos on the SBN 44s of how to rebuild them. So, yeah, I'm going to get them ready to stick on the ski. All right, so we finally got the uh, carbs knocked out and cleaned. I know it's been a while, but uh finally did it, and I think they will be good to go. So, <clears throat> now if we walk over here, show you guys what we need to do in order to get ready to stick those carbs on here. So as you can see, no carbs, obviously. Um, but yeah, we're gonna rip out all this old fuel line and bypass the reserve. Just, you know, have a, you know less failure points in the ski and probably keep the fuel filter. Um, but yeah, so we gotta rip out all of that first. Obviously clean up this gasket surface and then I think we'll be ready to stick the carbs on. Just 
just got all the fuel lines pulled out, as you can see, and now this thing is pretty much ready to be put back together. So I'm gonna throw the carb on, throw some fuel line on it, put the gas tank in, throw some fresh gas, battery, and I think this thing will be ready to start up on its own. I'm sorry for the wind noise, pretty windy here in Oklahoma. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and grind it out and throw the carb and everything else back on. So, as you can see, I have all the new fuel lines all plugged up. This one's kind of routed weird because that little bar broke off and I'm JB welding it, so I just want it to dry, um, but it'll be fine for now. Uh, I just have to throw in the spark plugs, uh, some gas, and a battery. And we'll go ahead and see if this thing fires up, so let's hit it. All right, so we have gas, we got a battery in there, and uh, we're gonna see if this thing will fire up. All right, let's hit it. Choke it. Does. All right guys, so as you saw, it fired right up and uh, runs great. So hopefully in the next video, we're gonna be taking it out to the lake. It is getting pretty chilly here in Oklahoma, but uh, I really wanna get this thing on the water. So stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. So I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.